the course that we are teaching under NPTEL program is electric vehicles and renewable energy. This course will be available with NPTEL this semester starting from July end till October November. It will get into all the fundamental aspects of electric vehicles. What the electric vehicles are, why are they important, what is the difference between electric vehicle and an internal combustion engine and why suddenly there is a so much of hype associated with electric vehicles. We will take on from here and move on to the basics of a vehicle movement. What are the forces that it encounters when it moves and what are the things that you really need to worry about. And after doing that, we will do the computation also based on that. Therefore, this is what you need. This is what a drive needs. This is the amount of energy that it needs. This is the amount of power that it needs. This is the kind of acceleration that it needs. And it, from there, we will start coming out what are the specifications of motors, controllers and battery. Not just the technology, but all the time economics of all of this. I am Kannan. And I will be dealing with the section on motors and controllers. We all love our bikes, our cars. We have a fairly clear idea when we want to go and buy a bike or a car or any other personal vehicle, what we want it to be like. It must be so roomy. It must be capable of going so fast. It must be capable of carrying so many people. But what makes the vehicle capable of all that? It's the motor. And if I were to ask the person, okay, you are getting an electric bike or an electric car, what kind of motor do you need? So we start from that point and try to derive the specifications of the motor from the specifications of the vehicle in a very commonsensical way. And from there on, we get into the inner physics of the motor, how it can be controlled. All of this by using pretty much nothing more than Ohm's law and Kirchhoff's law in different forms. What from the surface appears like a very forbidding and complex subject, people use words like multiphysics to describe it, can all be understood in very elementary terms. And towards the end of the course, I hope you will be able to build your own customized motor. So what I am going to take in this particular course, EV and uh, renewable energy, is about battery. What would be the battery size, how it could be uh, taken care of the range and XCT and uh, different physics of the battery pack like mechanical design, thermal design, electrical design, BMS, embedded software. So everything I would be talking in that particular course. Once we move to the uh, renewable energy section, then again I will be talking about various aspects of the renewable energy sources like thermal, uh, flywheels, ele uh, electrical energy source, lithium ion battery, energy, battery source pumped hydro, these are the various uh, energy sources I would be talking about that. These all are energy storage options for the renewable energy. Students who register for EE5204 at IIT Madras will also be able to, to uh, take this course and they can get credit both at NPTEL as well as at IIT Madras. Look forward to having you in the class. Uh, it will require a little bit of hard work, but you'll really learn a lot.